Greetings. What's up, friends and family? So, uh, great adventure. Uh, pretty much the end of my trip right now. I'm taking a run on the other side of the country. I'm gonna hit with some campos up, a little car wash, hang out a little bit. I don't know. I'm just freestyling right now. So, the last video was don't come to the yard. Now, we're gonna touch on some subjects that came over the past couple days. People emailing me and texting me. This video right here is just Dominican Republic is super dangerous. All right, now I'm gonna give you the real and the insight. Shout out to the other vloggers who live out here. We'll also put videos up similar to mine to give you guys the same thing I'm saying. There's nothing going on out here. Nobody's being killed. Now, real talk, I think it's six to eight people now have died in, in resorts in Dominican Republic in the last two years. Six to eight people in the last two years. If you go to your newswire right now and check in your own neighborhood, I can guarantee you six to eight people died last night. Maybe more. Okay, so that's that's just beyond me. Everybody's canceling their trips to Dominican Republic. Hey, cool. If you don't want them, them uh, vacation packages, let me know. I would love to take Shorty over to a uh, nice nice resort, hang out for a couple days. Hit me on the email. I'll definitely take those vacation packages from you. Now, Big Poppy David Ortiz gets shot. Lord, if my phone didn't stop ringing on this one. If you go back to my video on Is DR Safe, I said most crimes here are done out of emotions and crimes of passion. So let's go back. Big Poppy was messing with a narco's wife. The narco was upset and jealous. Emotions. Passion. He hired two dudes who were very bad at that to go kill Big Poppy. If you see the video, which came out um, uh, 20 minutes after it happened, the dude walks up, scared to death, starts letting off some shots, runs away. Now, in America, if someone comes up, starts busting off shots, we're not chasing them. We're going the other way, right? Well, in Dominican Republic, because people aren't really like that out here, he let off shots at Big Poppy, and a gang of people chased him, caught him, and beat the hell out of him. You know why they chased him? They weren't afraid of being shot because Dominicans are not like that. So, a crime of passion, rage, emotions, and jealousy got Big Papi Ortiz shot. He's messing with someone's wife. A narco at that. Okay? It wasn't a tourist. They say, oh, Big Papi's dark skin. Well, guess what? His man who was a white Dominican, I mean a real white Dominican, he got shot too. So what ain't nothing to do with dark skin? He actually got shot first before Big Poppy got shot. The guy missed Big Poppy, how I don't know, shot his man and then shot Big Poppy. So come on guys. Um anyway, now real quick story, story time. Now I've been in um six cities. I believe six cities. I'm gonna make it seven and eight today. I haven't got shot, I haven't got killed, I haven't got robbed, I haven't got extorted. Matter of fact, funny story last night, I'm leaving Mao. Uh we go through a uh a military checkpoint, which I saw on the way to Mal, it was always there. And the guy goes, hey man, you got any guns on you? I said, nah, man, I don't need no guns, I'm a tourist. He's like, you ain't a tourist coming out here. I said, I'm a tourist, bro. He said, tourists stay over there in Porta Plata and stuff like that. I said, well, I live in Sasua, but yeah, I'm a tourist, I don't need a gun. And he goes, all right, man, you have a good night. Nothing, no death, no drama. I mean, I'm just saying. And these things on the resort, I will say this. I told somebody that there needs to be an, uh, a forensic investigator with these resorts, and I'll tell you why. People go, oh, they're killing it. I'm gonna be honest with you. It could be something as little and as stupid as laziness or just not realizing placement of chemicals, okay? And I say that because this, I've personally seen where someone has put chemicals that shouldn't be around food or, 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 or drink items, and they don't realize that it could cause damage to people and get people sick. So it could be something as someone put some chemicals that were very bad, very dangerous, near some glasses. And then when someone got a drink, those chemicals were on there because they weren't cleaned properly. So negligence, sometimes stupidity, and le pure laziness. Oh, let me just store this right here, no one will notice. So you need someone like a forensic investigator to go and sit there and say, okay, this doesn't make sense. Check for these chemicals over here. These chemicals shouldn't be around these items. So we'll have to check that. But as far as a mysterious resort serial killer, I just don't see that, I'm sorry. You know, sorry to all the families that these uh, tragic events happened to, but like I said, we're looking at six to eight bodies in a matter of two years. 
and everybody saying the DR is killing people. The David Ortiz thing did not help. Look, Dominican Republic is getting punched in the face worse, worse than um, uh, Joshua, you know what I'm saying, the boxing match. It's looking really bad. But it is what it is, the same country. I'm, I'm rolling around by myself. I'm stopping all these spots. I have these videos for you coming soon. But let's get to a quick story. So Bonal, I was in Bonal after I left Bonnie. Uh, I get to Bonal, I check in my hotel, and I do have a lot of Dominican fans, um, they, you know, subscribers, they watch, a lot of Dominicans holler at me. Um, so this girl, I'm, I'm, they have a restaurant downstairs in the hotel. So I check in, I walk out real quick, just get, get see what, where, where I'm gonna go real quick, what I'm gonna do. I didn't feel like bringing my bag in the room yet, I wasn't ready to carry up the steps. And this girl goes, hey, Mr. Flip Flop. I'm like, hey, it's kind of a surprise in here, Dominican, yell, yell out Mr. Flip Flop, but it was cool. Um, and she's like, hey, I watch your videos, I like your stuff. And it was cool. I said, hey, well, you wanna sit down and get, get a drink real quick? So we got a little bar around the corner, get a little drink. And we're chatting it up, you know, real, real nice young lady in her 20s. Uh, just said she got off work, you know, just happened to see me uh, walking by. So we kick it for a little while. I said, listen, I'll get with you later. I'm, I'm kind of tired. I, I was real tired from the night before partying in Bunny. I said, uh, I'll get with you. She said, cool. So I go into the room. My phone's going off. And it's her. She's like, hey, you in your room? Everything okay? I'm like, yeah. I just left her maybe 30 seconds prior. So I'm not understanding that one. Anyway, I get a call to the room. Uh, oh, you have a guest down here. I said, what? So I get on the phone. It's her. I'm like, okay. She's like, I just want to make sure you're okay. I said, yeah, I just responded to you in a text message. That was weird. So I take a nap, about two hours. Go downstairs, figure get something to eat. For some reason on this trip, I'd be eating a lot of damn pizza, like almost every day. So go get me some pizza. Who do I see? It's this girl again. It was kind of weird. But I said, hey, would you like some pizza? I had a personal pizza, but I wasn't going to eat it all anyway. So I said, come on, sit down and eat. She sits down and she's giving me these googly eyes, like weird. And I'm just like, okay, and she's, she's a cutie, but I'm not, uh, you know, I'm not really interested. I'm just setting myself up, but now I've got to get myself together. Long story short, she's like, listen, can I come up to your room and talk to you? I said, well, we could talk right here. You know, <laughs> I'm like, uh, what's up? Excuse me. So she just starts saying things that kind of weird me out about how she feels about me and how she's so happy to meet me and certain things. So I just said, you know what? I'm going to the club tonight. I'll get with you later. So now I get back to the room. Like I'm right upstairs from the uh, from the restaurant, and I just an eerie feeling came over me. Like, Greg, this isn't gonna turn out good. Not not scared, but just worried that I might have a you know a crazy girl on my hands that just may go a little bit overboard on on, on her her vibes or feelings or emotions towards me. So I just got a bad vibe, and when I get bad vibes, I roll out. So like I said, I hadn't I hadn't brought my bag up yet. So it was actually still in the car. So I walked, there's two entrances to the hotel. They put these steps a funny way. So I walked down and I peek over and the girl at the desk said, the girl's still downstairs waiting for you. I'm like, son of a, what the hell? So she's laughing like, what did you do to this girl? Like she's waiting for you. I'm like, I don't even know her, whatever. I slide out the other exit to down the other steps, hop in the car and take off to Santiago. Like I said, it wasn't fear as far as worrying about my life. It was just a situation I just felt weird and like some, felt like some fatal attraction-ish that I wasn't ready for. Especially, you know, I'm out having a good time. I didn't want any drama in my life, so I just took off. But um, like I said, I keep getting all these messages and emails about, oh, well, look at this, look at that. Cancun just came out and they found eight bodies yesterday. Eight bodies of people that were actually killed tourists. Dominican Republic has had six to eight bodies in the past two years of, of tourists that have not been killed, but that have died under funny circumstances. I will say that the circumstances are not the greatest. Um, but saying they're killing people, hey, it is what it is. Um, I challenge you not to come to Dominican Republic so you don't get killed. I'm hoping well, while I'm out here on this tour, which is just about done, that I don't get killed. Um, I'm not even thinking about getting killed, but from what I'm hearing, I might get killed. Uh, I keep People keep telling me they're worried about coming down here so they don't get killed. I mean, I don't want you guys to get killed, so be safe. Uh, I challenge you not to come to DR because it is dangerous 
as I drive around now, I see bodies everywhere and people dying, getting robbed. It's funny because when I was in Bani in Santiago, I, I talked to a lot of locals and I was just basically saying, you know, how do you guys feel about this? And they're like, well, we don't know nothing about the results. It has nothing to do with us. Like, we didn't rob any any, any uh, tourists or kill any tourists. It didn't happen in, in, in the streets. They don't really consider the results like part of Dominican Republic. Like, that's a result. That's, that's some big company that's not Dominican owns that. Um, so, you know, Dominicans just work there. And I'm like, oh, okay, understood. And they're like, you haven't, you haven't heard about a tourist walking out here getting killed just randomly in the street? And I was like, hey, you know what? You're right. I actually was at a party, um, a birthday party in Bani, and uh, it was a bunch of white tourists there hanging out in the hood. It's a, it's, a, it's a hood bar. They were hanging out in the hood, buying drinks. You know, uh, they didn't seem worried. And this is this is the hood hood. I mean, like, this is the area that I would tell most people, you know, if you don't speak Spanish, you kind of don't want to be over there. Only because it's just that, that type of area. You know, they, you just can't randomly walk on the streets over there. And I got some videos of that as well. So anyway, just to answer all you guys' questions, I'm safe. The tour is going well. Uh, if you can't see a flight, good luck to you. Choose another location. I will be posting up here all the tourist destinations with the most murders. Dominican Republic isn't even on the list. Not even on the list. It's an FYI. Uh, so, you know, I won't knock any other countries because when I mentioned certain other countries, people got mad at me. Uh, but you can Google this stuff yourself and see what tourist destinations have the highest murder rates when it comes to tourists. All right, you guys be safe. I will have more videos coming, updating what's going on. Right now, I'm just going to pick a spot out here in one of these campos and just post up. Do a video and hang out. Hang out with the locals. You know, see what's going on on Tuesday. All right? I love you guys. Appreciate the support. Hey, I asked Bo Rakes. I was like, hey, man, I did 10,000 views in one day. Is that viral or what? <laughs> Bo said, for us, if we get 2,000 in one day, that's viral. So I guess I went triple viral. I don't know. But I appreciate you guys, man. And like I said, come down to the Dominican Republic. It's safe as ever. I don't know the resort situations. I've never been in a resort in Dominican Republic. I was at a couple parties in resorts, but never actually stayed and, and did the whole resort thing. Maybe I'll do that in a couple weeks. I'll check it out, let you guys know. Uh, but, I mean, as far as the country goes as a whole, very safe. You guys come down and have fun. Love all of you. Peace.